Hey there, this is Akshit Nadan and welcome back to a new video. And in this video, you are going to watch me give a Flutter interview. So this video is going to be exciting because uh, along, along with me, you can also practice your Flutter concepts. And you should watch this video till the end because uh, at the end, we are also going to evaluate uh, my answers through the report that will be generated. So this video is going to be exciting for you to watch someone else give a interview, right? So to give this interview, I'm using my own app, Resume Pal, which provides mock interviews. It provides resume analysis, resume building, and last minute practice flashcards. So uh, let's go ahead without wasting more time. So on Resume Pal app, I'm going to click on the interviews. And over here, I'm going to click on plus icon so that I can load an in, load a interview template for me. So as I'm going to uh, give an interview for Flutter, so let's go ahead and apply the filter for mobile development or you can directly search Flutter also. So let's see what we get. So we are going to get all the interview templates related to Android and Flutter. So let's give a simple one first of all, uh, which is going to cover the concepts of Dart language, OOP, data structures, Dart makes sense, solid principles and exception handling. So let's go ahead and click on take interview. My target company is uh, let's resume a pal only uh, or let's not put any target company and number of questions. Let's keep three because I want to keep this video small so that you don't have to just watch me give the interview. You have to just watch this. Uh, let's see the report and then you have to go ahead on this platform and give the interview on uh, like by yourself. Right. Okay. So let's click on confirm. Now Arya who is our uh, AI interviewer is going to come and ask me the questions. So let's see what she asks. Okay. So I can see the first question. Hello and welcome. To break the ice, could you describe a project where you extensively use Dart? Highlight any specific features of Dart that you found particularly useful or challenging. Okay, so you can see that Arya has asked a question from me and now I have to tap on this and I have to answer. So you can take some time to think also, right? Because this is a practice, this is a mock interview, it's a practice, right? So you can take some time and directly click on tap to answer. Okay, so if I have to describe my Flutter experience through a project that I did, I would like to talk about the e-commerce application project that I built around one year ago. And in that project, I covered all the features, all the features that are actually significant for uh, e-commerce applications and e-commerce services, that is uh, product cataloging, then uh, order placing, cart, wishlisting, uh, then payment services. So I was using Stripe. So in that project, I would like to highlight the finance or the ordering part itself because that was the first time I learned how to uh, integrate a SDK, uh, which was a Stripe SDK in my Flutter app. I also was able to uh, create my own custom backend so that I can secure my transactions. Uh, I used webhooks. So that was a time when I did not just uh, went into went deeper into the Flutter concepts. I also learned about the backend concepts. So uh, integrating Stripe was a very important thing for me because without the uh, ordering part, you cannot actually say that e-commerce application is completed and learning the webhook concept was also new for me. And using that, I actually learned how to build a full stack mobile application project. And for that project, I used uh, provider state management. So I learned about consumers. I learned about notify listeners. And I was able to handle all the logic, all the uh, business logic for my application through provider state management. So in this project, I would like to focus that I learned provider state management and I learned how to integrate a third party SDK or APIs in your uh, application. Okay, guys, so this was the first question that I gave. Uh, and now let's uh, see what Arya asked me next. Okay, let's see. Basically, it is also going to analyze my audio, how I'm speaking, if I'm sounding distressful or if I'm sound, sounding overconfident at all. Okay. Can you explain here. how you apply OOP principles in Flutter development? Additionally, please discuss any specific patterns or practices you follow to ensure your code adheres to the solid principles. So guys, now let's do one thing. For OOP part, I would answer the uh, question. And for the solid principles part, let's not answer the question. Okay, let's say, uh, hey, I don't know about solid principles so that we can actually see uh, how the report is generated. Okay, let's go ahead. So I would like to take the example of the same e-commerce application that I built. Uh, in that application, I had to handle a lot of product types. So uh, we had furniture products, we had uh, uh, electronics products, and we had clothing products. Uh, so multiple types of products had to be handled in the catalog. 
and for that it was it does it it, it won't make any sense if i uh, create multiple classes for different product types so we created an abstract class which highlights the use of abstraction which is an op that is object oriented par paradigm and using the abstract classes and interfaces i actually created the uh, abstract class for a product item and then we created multiple product uh, classes for various uh, items that it can be furniture electronics or clothing which was uh, extending the abstract class so we were using the uh, concepts of abstraction we used the concepts of inheritance in this and multiple times we also have to create some uh, private classes and which highlights the uh, use of encapsulation and uh, yeah so this highlights the how i used op paradigms in my uh, flutter e-commerce application project about solid principles i am not very sure uh, so i would like to skip that part uh, i would like to skip answering that part uh, yeah that's it okay so now we did not answer the solid principle let's see if it gets highlighted in the report it's it's exciting actually let's see Could you walk us through a scenario where you implemented exception handling in your Flutter applications? Also, how have you utilized Dart mixins in your projects, and what benefits did they provide? Here also, what I will do is I will answer how I uh, used exception handling for Dart mixin. I'll just give it a general idea that hey, uh, Dart mixins are just like uh, like they are a bit different from uh, inheritance, something like that. I'll just give a very rough idea. So that let's see, let's see if it highlights in the report that I don't know the Dart makes sense concepts. Okay, let's go ahead. So talking about exception handling, uh, whenever I make an API call, uh, an, an HTTP call, I have to handle the exceptions because it can lead to a network exception. It can lead to a, a timeout exception. So various uh, exceptions I have to handle. So for that, I use interceptors so that I can intercept the response that I get from the backend. But uh, again, we have to handle the exceptions also. Uh, so for that, I use try catch block. And uh, whenever if the uh, response is uh, if the response give me if the response is status code 200 300, that means the response uh, or the uh, call is successful, and that goes to the try block. If by any case some exception occurs, it can be on the front end side also, or it can be on the server side also. And by any chance, the status code uh, comes uh, above 300, that means it from 400, 401, or 403, 500 server error, anything, it will go to the catch block, right? And through this, my exception can be caught. And based on uh, the type of exception that we get from the server or on the front end side, we can either uh, uh, emit a state, which will lead to the showcase of a snack bar or a pop-up that, hey, something went wrong, or we can handle it as we want. So this, this is how, that's how I use exception handling in my Flutter project. I used it. I used it extensively in my e-commerce project also. Talking about the Dart mixins, I just have the general idea. I just know that it is a bit different from inheritance. But again, I'm not sure about this topic. Let's see. Okay, let's see how it goes. I've given all the three answers uh, partially. So let's see how it goes, and um, let's see how the report looks. Thank you for taking the time to interview with us today. Your insights were enlightening. We'll be in touch soon with the interview report. Best of luck in your job search. Okay, let's go back. This is the interview which I just gave. Let's just refresh also. Yeah, this is the interview which I just gave eight minutes ago. Now let's click on it and see. This is the report. It is uh, immediately ready. Uh, this is the overall feedback. So let's read. The candidate demonstrates adequate technical skills with significant experience in Flutter development, but lacks depth in some critical areas necessary for advanced software architecture and design, which is good. Overall score 75, which is good. Uh, overall sentiment is okay for the interviewer. Okay. Areas of strength. Demonstrated strong knowledge in Flutter application development, particularly in integrating APIs and managing state with provider state management. Good. Experienced in uh, using OP concepts such as abstraction, inheritance, and encapsulation in real world projects. Proficient in exception handling within Flutter, effectively using try-catch blocks for error management. Able to articulate project experiences and technical implementations clearly. Okay, now improvement, solid principles, you see, Dart makes sense, you see. Could benefit from deeper exposure to different Dart languages features and data structures to enhance coding proficiency. Could benefit from gaining clarity on implementing industry standard best practices overall in the development process, which makes sense. So the two, to to the two topics which I could not answer, they are highlighted in the areas to improve, perfect. This is the question wise analysis. This is the answer which I gave. And uh, due to some reason, the feedback on the ideal answer and the feedback on Tony is not yet generated. So let's come back 
right sometimes it takes some time so uh, let me just again see if it is now generated yeah we can see feedback uh, and the ideal answer so this is the ideal answer you can go ahead read it out and this is the feedback on the tone uh, in which i was speaking so your answer was delivered with a consistent effort which is good you might want to work on reducing filler words such as a uh, mm, these tend to re de uh, detract from the effectiveness of your communication okay additionally displaying more confidence and enthusiasm when discussing your projects can make your explanations feel more compelling and engaging try to maintain a smooth flow of speech to avoid awkward pauses and hesitations which can occasionally make the listener question the certainty of your responses this is a very good feedback uh, uh, like on the tone uh, in which i was speaking right i was using um and as a lot right so that is highlighted and this is the answer which i gave you can play it and listen later also okay this is the second uh, again you can go ahead and read the feedback uh, the feedback is based on solid principles and this is the feedback uh, my uh, my answer the ideal answer and the uh, the feedback on the tone so it it is highlighting the dart mixins also right and now let's see the role based ratings so relevant experience project diversity industry relevance and i can see my lowest marks are in solid principles right so the because i did not give the answer of solid principles okay so this whole interview report actually highlights everything in which or like every area in which you are uh, like good or you are bad right it it highlights everything it gives you the scores based on your roles right uh, it can also it because it also takes your uh, resume right so before giving this interview i have also uploaded my resume here right you can see my resume is already added here so it will ask for your resume also so it not only just uh, uh, scores uh, you on the basis of the interview which you just give it also gives you the scores based on the uh, your resume right so that is also very important so it takes care of everything that uh, is taken care in a real interview right so i think this is good and this is a very good report i hope you also learned a lot and i know i now i know that you will be directly going to the resume pal app downloading it and just trying it out right just go ahead and give a lot of interviews guys we don't we just don't have one interview we have a lot of interviews yeah. so if you just, if you just search for flutter flutter right you're going to get uh, eight to 10 templates at least which covers the whole of flutter so you see flutter 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 7 templates are there for related to flutter and then some uh, related to uh, native programming also maybe platform channels right so just go ahead and if you uh, dm me right now i am going to give you one extra credit so by default you get one credit for one interview if you dm me and say hey akshit i have just signed up on your app i'll give you one more credit so that you can give at least two interviews okay so see you guys and um, i hope you enjoyed this video till next video keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot